here at Southern Fun, and we had to come over and look at what to me is a new gyro, but which I'm guessing is not a new gyro. I'm Dan Johnson. I'm talking with a friend in the business here, Abid Faruqi, whom I know associated with trikes for a long time, and he's still associated with trikes, but now this doesn't have a flex wing above it. Well, the wing does flex a little bit, yeah. but it's a different kind of flex. What's going on now, Abid? What have you gotten yourself into? Okay, so basically, gyro planes that you know in Europe are kind of taking off a little bit, um, and uh, a lot of people are getting into gyro planes. So Haley, the company that I work with, who have been a sub assembly provider to me for trikes as well, um, they decided they want to do a gyro plane, and uh, they kind of took inspiration from Ela, which is a Spanish company. Ah, oh, yeah. Um, and uh, they uh, took. Uh, as you can see, the Delta Jet, you know, trike kind yeah, of design. Yeah, it's very similar to the it's, Delta it's Jet trike. Right, yeah, and they took the body shape and stuff from that um, and um, essentially started to develop the, the gyroplane. Uh, this is number 22, so it's not completely new. They've had three, four batches of production. Yeah, they're mostly selling them in Europe prior to this point? Yeah, prior to you getting involved with them, obviously? Yes, correct. Okay. And then um, I waited. And, uh, you know, obviously in the first batch and stuff, I always know there's always some issues. So I waited, I went there, I flew it, then I went again and I gave them some feedback. And, uh, you know, they incorporated some changes that I wanted. Uh, for example, the fuel tank, as you see, is not the European fuel tank. It's not plastic, it's not Yeah, I see it. I see it. I'm looking at it in a yeah. welded aluminum, it looks like. Yep. Yep. And, uh, Just after the rear seat is yeah, where we're out of this point. The rotor head and the rotor blades are a Verso Stella rotor, which is a French company that has been doing rotor blades in uh, in France for about oh, 30 I years. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. okay. So they're taking basically some components that they had with the carriage. Correct. Uh, and marrying them to some French components rotor that have been system. doing that for a long time. Correct. A few yeah. changes of advice from you and yeah. voila, we've got the... Yeah. Uh, and uh, what is this called? What's the name of this? Thing? Apollo Gyro One, AG One. AG One, okay. Right. Apollo Gyro. Now, <laughs> uh, Apollo uh, comes from overseas, Correct. and you're having to bring them in because FAA has yet to put their blessing on an <laughs> SLSA here. Which is yeah. Not news to anybody who's followed Gyro, and right. maybe someday that'll change. But for now, it has to be a kit. That's correct. It comes in. Tell as us a, how that works. Uh, yeah. So it comes in as a kit, uh, and uh, just like the other European Gyro planes that are factory built in Europe, but they have to come in as a kit. And then uh, I have a full builder's assist program at Zephyr Hills, right behind Zephyr Hills Municipal Airport. Um, I have a facility there. That's where, uh, near Tampa, Florida, right, for those Tampa, that don't Florida. know Zephyr Hills. Yeah. A very popular skydiving, <laughs> skydiving site. site if, you, yeah. if you skydive, you already know it, but others, exactly. that's where he's at. Yeah, and uh, so we have a full shop there uh, where we have assembly line for the trikes uh, and some a and P's working there for me, engineer working there for me, and. We assemble the, uh, you know, we provide builders assist and make sure that they're doing it correctly. Now, when you do the trikes, you can bring those in ready to fly. Uh, no, I can't. Not I actually, yet. Actually, okay. uh, the trike and the gyroplane, I do. You're both uh, do, you're doing both yeah. of them as kits then. Yes. Experimental amateur yeah, built kits. Because then. I'm the manufacturer of the design on the trike because ah. it's certified, and okay. uh, I actually bring it. The wings are U.S. made. The engine installation, the wiring, the avionics. Uh, many of all the systems are done here in the U.S. The okay. final assemblies are all done here. Okay. Yeah. So you're bringing people in and they build one of these. What's what's the project? How long is the project? Yeah, so the project takes between two to four weeks depending on the person. Okay. But uh, we are there well, to not very help. long. Yeah, not very long. And we are there to help them get through all the way through airworthiness uh, with the DAR and help them to make sure that they are guided correctly, they're doing things correctly not making expensive mistakes. And uh, then we also test fly for them the first two, three hours and balance the rotors and everything like that. Okay. And uh, I would imagine those, that particular thing would be rather challenging for an individual to learn to do. Yeah, and uh, because and, and you're allowed to do that part because that's not building yeah, the airplane now, that's airplane. maintenance yeah. sort of. So, um, I have a test pilot uh, who is very experienced in data planes and he's a commercial helicopter pilot as well and we have contacts that are uh, helicopter mechanics that have the dynamic balancing system. And because it's a gyro plane, it's auto rotate, so you have to actually fly in it to balance it. Unlike uh, a helicopter, uh, which can, you can rotate. Uh, yeah, uh, sure, right. There wouldn't be any way to... Exactly. 
there wouldn't be any way to know that. To get to the rotor RPMs that are in flight. Now so you have the usual arrangement on here, I'm sure, because I can see gears up there of a pre-rotator. Yes. Which means to get the get the rotor blades moving before you even yeah. think about taking off. Correct. You're spinning them up to what a couple hundred a couple hundred RPM yeah, like about that. About 200 to 220 RPM. Okay, rotor and then RPM. then you're ready to fly. That's correct. And I got to fly in an auto gyro recently and yeah. found that it was virtually like flying an airplane except don't ever jam the stick forward the guy told me. <laughs> yes, <true>. so, <laughs> so tell uh, me a little more about the experience of flying one of these. Yes, the experience of flying this compared to a fixed wing or a tri-winged aircraft basically um, is that you know there's a you know first thing I noticed as a strike pilot and as a fixed wing it's like there's a little bit of shake and you cannot get away from some shake there's a super rev shake with the seats and rotors so you're gonna have that uh, you can smooth that out a lot by doing dynamic balancing of the okay. plane, which is, I think I recommend to everybody. Um, but essentially, you pre-rotate, and the takeoff is more complex, in my opinion, in a gyroplane than it is in a trike or a fixed wing. Okay. Uh, because you. And really, why is that? Well, you want to balance your, uh, you know, you want to really balance the gyroplane on its main, and give it an angle of attack to the disc, so the, the rotation, the pre-rotation gets you and it gets you further going the rotor RPM keep up and uh, manage the energy there. You want to put some yeah, angle some angle to it yeah, and exactly. then push it forward, push with, it the forward engine. with the engine and then so you're in a you're stable kind of environment. Doing a, so basically you're doing what we uh, in trikes we call a wheelie down the runway for takeoff. Yeah, nose off the ground. You know. Yeah, nose off the ground a little bit so you have the angle there and uh, then it lifts you off and you're in ground effect. Now you don't want to, you know, it'll lift off but you don't want to get out of ground effects so you have some more okay. airspeed. Um, so you get to a proper airspeed and you feel the rotor have the energy and then you start climbing. It kind of sounds like a soft feel takeoff Take off. technique. Exactly. What okay. you would do in a trike. So get it up off the ground, get yeah. her flying some more, exactly. keep your angle up. Yeah. I found it to be an easy yeah. flying experience. Yeah. The landing seemed a little, just felt odd to a fixed wing guy because you kind of come in and go, Oh, the forward motion went away and I settled down. <laughs> yes. It was soft. That wasn't it at all, but it exactly. felt a little odd. Yeah, because your wings are seeing the relative air. They're still by flying. rotating. Right. So you <laughs> don't necessarily have to have forward motion to, for the wings to keep flying. But you can land really short in it. You can land basically zero roll if you do it correctly. Okay, I want to ask you for a website to give us some more information. But before we do that, I want to talk about a little bit. Get us, and, and we're doing this on a YouTube video. People right. will see this maybe years from now. So, right. folks, the prices will change. But get me in the rough ballpark of what, what kind of price we're talking about for these. So uh, this, this gyroplane, as it sits right here, uh, it's with uh, a 914, uh, which is a turbojet 115 horsepower engine, would be about seventy-five, seventy-six thousand dollars. Really, with the 914? Yes, and all the way through it was in it. Wow. Okay. With the that's... rotors balanced and everything. That's what with, we found. With the builder's these, assist. These are quite reasonable. Now that that's a kit, but it's yeah. only a two to four week kit. Correct. With builder assist, yeah. so not not the laborious, laborious years yeah, long job yeah, that some people no, are thinking. No. And that's a very good price for a, for a slick 14, yeah. package with a powerful engine on Correct. it. And this must perform quite well. With yes. With the what kind of cruise can you do in this one? Uh, you can you can at 75% power, uh, you're doing about 100, 100, 100, miles, 100, 100 miles, miles per hour. hour. Okay. Right. So great. About well, 90 knots. Basically. Okay, 90 knots. So a lot of a lot of good information. Where can we send people? People are watching this either on their computer, or maybe through their TV or whatever. Where sure. can they go on the web to get more information so on it? They can go to uh, www.silverlightaviation.com. That's okay. Silverlight L I V H D. Okay. Aviation. We'll put it up on the screen. Yeah. So Silverlight Aviation. Uh, I'm going to have to go fly with Abid. I'm yeah. down here in Florida. Abid's here in Florida. You yeah. count on that pretty soon, and we'll do more. <laughs> yeah. But uh, you can find a lot more about gyros, all kinds of fixed wing, weight shift, power parachute, and more on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks a lot for joining Abid and I here at Sun and Fun.